Welcome to Men's Conference Podcast, episode 18. And as usual, I'm your host, DC, the legend of awesomeness. Of course, I'm too awesome, I'm too great, I'm too, I'm too fantastic, guys. Yeah, the guys in the background are like, yeah, true, true, true. This is always awesome. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So anyway, this episode is actually brought to you by Bongo Bongo Zambia. I don't know why you're actually looking at me like that with the, with the beefy eyes. Lazi agrees. That I'm awesome. You sure about that? Yeah, <laughs> very much. I know you agree, bro. I would not say this. I would not say anything simply because kings do not answer to peasants. <laughs> you see, he just had to bring that up because anyway, I'll not say anything. But this episode is brought to you by Bongo Bongo Zambia. And I definitely get to like the page that is Bongo Bongo Zambia. And they are giving away an iPhone 15 Pro Max, guys on the 28th of this month so it's going to be awesome it's going to be fantastic i definitely cannot wait to have that phone in my hands as soon as possible probably i'll go to the offices and demand it because i'm dc i'm awesome so guys make sure to click the link in the description that is men's conference podcast and stand a higher chance of winning the iphone 15 pro max you guys you don't need to spend money 40p ni shani shani to get that iPhone 15. Just 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 win it through our link. Easy as that. You know, contact us and say, yeah, men's conference. I click the link and we'll get you in the door. Easy as, as pie. Easy as that. Pie. Simple as that, man. So definitely do that, man. So make sure to like the page that is Bongo Bongo Zambia and get to see more competitions on their page. And you'll see, you win money, you win uh phones you win fridges etc so it seems that bongo bongo zambia will actually be giving away also cash money prizes to about a hundred people so yeah you wouldn't want want to miss that so it's as easy as that follow us on tiktok that is men's conference podcast follow us on facebook that is men's conference podcast and subscribe to our youtube channel that is the men's conference podcast so guys you want an iphone 15 Pro Max. Who are you asking? <laughs> I'm asking both of you, man. I'm not an iPhone person, bro. You're not an iPhone person? <laughs> okay, to be How honest. How okay, dare you? Okay, to be honest, I've that never that really... Kind of oh, scene. To be honest, I've never really thought about it. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm not an iPhone person. Mm -hmm. It's just that I've never had... The, the money to buy an iPhone. You could say that. What <laughs> <laughs> I mean, opinion? But okay, but to be honest, I've always wanted one. Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted one because you know everyone else has been talking about it. You know, I, I like the pictures how it comes out, and I look at mine. And I'm like, this is this is the shitty phone. I need to get an iPhone as well so I can look good in my photos. I mean, bruh, would you post a picture and then I mean, you look at how bad it looks. I mean, image is everything, right? Yeah, image is everything. However, what we forget to do, what we forget to think about, rather, is that there are phones that have got way better camera. Than iPhone. Than iPhone. iPhone's So overrated. many. It's just that iPhone, Apple the, did a very good job at their marketing. Yeah, the branding is better. Ex the branding is better. And uh, they've managed uh, to, 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 to kind of uh, drill it in uh, the, 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 the other gender's brain. That if you don't get an iPhone, you ain't got a phone. Imagine. You know? But, but okay, but let's be honest. Won't you want to have that experience of just owning a high, you know? Yeah, iPhone I would. Maybe but it's what? Samsung. Yes, but, but I've, seen, yeah, I've seen even uh, Samsung, like he said, yeah. or even just uh, the, the, the latest version of OnePlus. It's insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah. If I were to hold it, technically, I would be like, this is a dope phone. But you see, with, 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 with the ladies out there, majority of them, if it ain't an iPhone, uh, it's a phone. You, a friend of mine lost, uh, the, a friend of mine's girlfriend yeah. lost her phone. Said, I know, let me buy you another phone. She's just like, no, I just want your manager, the exact Android model. Yeah. <laughs> your manager. I, I can't even get you there, better ones. Could, could it be, if it doesn't have that beaten apple behind it, yeah. it ain't going. This is why they like to take those photos in the mirror a lot. Haven't you noticed those photos they take in the mirror? No one uses them when they are using a, another type Imagine of phone. Imagine it. It's always the iPhone to show you that you have my camera vitat. Yeah. <laughs> and an iPhone. Yeah, it's a bit of woo fontini, but it is what it is at the end yeah. of the day. It's so marketing. have you heard girls that you, you girls are fontines for taking photos? For me that's not what I say. <laughs> that's what he said. That's, <laughs> that's what I why heard. Why does he always want to put me on blast? <laughs> that's, this guy? that's what I heard, man. <laughs> That's what I heard, bro. Anyway, to anyone out there, you know that me, I'm a very good, humble person. 
and I'm very respectful, and I've always spoken the truth, and in a very, very calm tone, I don't shout at people, I don't diss people. I, I for one, I'm a saint. I'm sorry. No, you are. It's these guys who are the bad influence. Sorry. Guys, bro, me, I'm innocent here, man. Hmm? I'm going to tell you the cool one. You know, even in prison, the, in, the, 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 the guilty said, ha, ah, I'm innocent, they got the wrong guy. You know, so it is what it is at the end of the day. But I'm mm. like you, bro. I never, I, I never lie. I tell the truth. Right, Nothing but the cool. truth. <laughs> Nothing but the truth, bro. Nothing That's a lie in of itself <laughs> right there. <laughs> Anish, and wait, wait. So a person who's actually innocent cannot say that he's innocent. That's what you're saying. They can. They can. But uh, you know what happens? Yeah. Look. Innocence, there's a way it comes out when somebody's innocent. So if I'm, so if I'm accused of cheating, I can't say I didn't cheat. Hmm? If I'm accused of cheating, I just sing Shaggy's song wasn't me. You should be fine. <laughs> Easy as that, eh? Yeah, simple as pie. Mm-hmm. Don't try that at home. I'm just saying, because uh, there cheating are some is people. Bad, guys. There are some people who take everything we say as gospel of truth. Imagine cheating is bad, guys. Do not but cheat on your woman. But I even caught you on camera. Mm. It wasn't me. Do not ah. cheat on your woman. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Do not cheat on your woman, guys. No, you know, women yeah. are very precious. They're amazing. All of them doesn't matter who they are. They are Why does great, he sound great? They are great women. No, he sounds so disingenuous <laughs> by saying no, that. I'm, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> women are amazing. Believe you me, if you want to do business, choose a woman. Easy, simple. Ah, you go up there, guys. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We believe you, DC. What's the topic today? Let's get into it, my <laughs> guy. Because uh, right now. You have started simping. No, I'm not a simp, man. You know? You know, oh, yeah? you know what? You know what? This simping has got too many guys, to, you know, wrongly. Simp for a woman. You need to simp for a woman. You know? Kiss her feet. You know? <laughs> Kiss the ground she walks on. You know? Bath her. Cook her food. Even drink her bath water. It's- <laughs> I'll not say anything. I'll not say anything. No, I'm that's just joking, guys. Simping. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's ridiculous. But yeah, yeah. anyway, before mm. we actually get into the topic, I want to know how you guys have been doing, man. Ah, uh, well, it's been quite a week. Yeah, I can't lie. It's been quite a week. Mm-hmm. My 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 legs are hurting. I won't <laughs> say why. I, uh, I had an accident. Uh, 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 for you, uh, for the well wishers out there, send me some money. Maybe in the Zapola fast, I'll get healed very yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't know? be watching us for free. <laughs> no, 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 no. Otherwise, uh, the, the the week is pretty pretty fine for me. Mm. Uh, same old, same old. Uh, getting by in this harsh economy that we're in, we see how we will raise above it. Mm. Uh, otherwise, there's not much I can say. Uh, just did what I do all the time. That sounds boring, but hey, life is not a Nigerian movie. Come on. That's just me saying. Lads. Yeah, for me, well, I wouldn't say much. It's uh, challenging. Mm-hmm. You know, for a man, like life is not easy. Yeah. So you have to overcome those challenges, then uh, rise above. Then, you know, keep moving forward, bro. Yeah. yeah so. Very true. Very true. You know, life is, uh, life's not supposed to be easy for a man. You no. know, at the end of the day, you should just know what you want in life. And uh, go for it. Uh, never give up. You know, never surround yourself with negative people or negative energy. Mm. Because, you know, if you want to succeed or if you want to get to a certain mm. point in life, man, you just have to do what it takes, you know, to surround with surround yourself with uh, people. positive energy, people, and all that yeah. stuff, you know. Especially those guys. We talked about it last week. You know, those guys that say, no, I'm, uh, I'm an introvert. I mean, like, <laughs> dude, we, we don't need people like you, man. <laughs> we need people who are very vibrant, who are able to think on their feet, who are positive, you know, who've got ideas in their head to say, look, this is, this is the direction that we can go. Not that I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's you know, that's the ridiculous. problem here. And when you call people out like that, the first thing they say is, ah, oh, no, you, you, you just got misunderstood the term of introvert yeah. or you're just crazy, so on and so, yeah. so, so forth. Uh, you know? But at the end of the day, look, I understand where a man can sit maybe by himself just to reflect. Mm. We all do that. Mm-hmm. But there are there are dudes out there. Mm. There are dudes out there. They mm. even pro- look immediately. Mm. You start writing what your personality is in your bio on Facebook. <laughs> I know you're just a piece of shit, <laughs> and I'm not lying. <laughs> Introvert, confident, and this is the dangers of social. Are you media. sure? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. others that I'm a humble person. Humble people never even say I'm a humble person. Mm-hmm. You will just be able to tell. Other people will tell. 
ali hambo muntu yeah because this is the dangers of social media because yeah, yeah. they don't just wake up one morning and start coming up with these ideas yeah that's the thing there's, but, there's certain influences that go on online mm. that uh, make people say things like that yeah, yeah. an introvert this is what i do that so let mm. themselves because someone out there is giving out the wrong information mm. So these guys have to be aware yeah, but of who they you know when you live in a time where everybody wants to be unique yeah. you know this is why in some countries there are now 3000 genders everybody wants to sound slightly you know unique unique yeah. oh, i'm an introvert others i'm a social introvert huh I don't I don't understand that. Uh, no, you know people other, who do that are, are, yeah, are not but happy that's the with thing. themselves. I for one what I figured is people with low self esteem yeah. they're trying to appear very appealing to the public yeah. to fight, so that they can be treated in a certain way. There is nothing special about because, being an introvert. Because, 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 you're just <laughs> socially awkward, simple as pie. Yeah, because, I'm just saying, man. Yeah, mm. because listen, huh? if you're trying too hard to prove to other people that you matter, then mm. you're going to end up looking like a fool. Yeah, that's because, the thing. Because the first thing you need to do is that not everyone's going to like you. Of And course. There could be various reasons. No matter how good you are, mm. there's always going to be that certain reason why a person doesn't like you. Mm. Is one one we can't we can't always be compatible with each other. No. We always we always have our own, you know, uh, crew, mm. our own uh, people we well, like we gel with and all that. So yeah, people need to understand that ah, the first thing you need to do is just appreciate who you are. Then like then just go on with your life. Exactly. Exactly. You know, well, it's very I, true. I, I it's very true. Uh, <clears throat> those are those are very interesting points out there that you've uh, put out there. This is why people are now Do you remember that time when the word bipolar was like some niche or some interesting uh, like back then i remember asking a certain girl oh she was so slow i was asking her hey, tell me about yourself open ended question mm. oh i'm bipolar i'm shani so i'm like okay she's bipolar do you really believe you're bipolar or is it because it's a it's a, it's like when people discover a new word then now everybody just throw it, starts throwing it around you know like, i'm bipolar like, you know, like saying like, i'm depressed yeah. exactly. and you know what, giving I, it power simple you know? as uh, you and, know and i don't agree Mm. with a person like giving an excuse to their co- like how they behave like oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. i'm behaving like this probably it's because i'm like this yeah. no you're behaving like that because you're an asshole yeah, I, i've <laughs> noticed some people who say yeah yeah like i'm bipolar so i, I can act like this next day mm-hmm. tomorrow i'm like this like no you're just very silly you don't want yep. to take uh, accountability. accountability for your own self destructive behavior exactly. so now you want people but oh i know that's nemwe aridi she's bipolar my guy in a big bipolar in my face do vau puba you see slap me bam you understand now bipolar wako asijira huko kuja you know cuz we are living in a time where there are too many labels for everything yeah, 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 you understand yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't think do you honestly think our parents were oh, no me i'm an introvert People would be like, "What the heck is that? Mm-hmm. You have to go work and money." Yeah. You know, this is why. Ah, uh, you know, me, I'm very depressed, bro. Why are you crying? Why are you giving power? Think about if our grandparents were as whiny as our generation. Besides, besides, someone once said that depression is a warning that you're not doing something right. Of course, yeah. of course, because it's telling you, like, bro, the reason why you're feeling like this is because of ABC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you oh, I can't me, I'm an introvert. I just like time by myself. Two weeks, somebody, somebody is in the house. Watching anime. I can go to anime. Playing games. <laughs> Playing games. Touching themselves. <laughs> exactly. What the hell is that? Because <laughs> notice, majority of these guys, one thing I've noticed, majority of these guys, they, they, they kind of have similar mindsets. Mm-hmm. You understand? Either after katamba anime, these are the people who tell me I have fallen in love. Like that friend of ours was telling us a story uh, of his friend who says he yeah. wants a chick who looks like an anime character. I was what? like, what the heck are you even <laughs> hey, talking hey, about? Hey. How is that even possible? Yeah. It's a drawing. Yeah, it you understand? How is it even, with those my big eyes? Like, where are you <laughs> going to find somebody like that? <laughs> well, that I'm it, sorry, you it, show me a girl with those anime large eyes, those with blue and. There are so many sparks in them. I'm sorry, I would think one, either this girl is an alien or two, she needs to see an eye surgery right now. Mm-hmm. Isn't that possible that su- plastic surgery would require No, it's not possible. possible. It's, it, it's it looks not. good in anime. Yeah. It doesn't look good in But reality. But you see, there are guys out there, there's even a guy who would ah, no. Uh, could he, there's that word they say in 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 uh, it's like pornography, but in Japanese what is Oh, that hentai. Hentai. Mm. Ah, in me I only watch hentai. Like so, Batman has been weird. Weird. But first of all, 
why is he looking for? Uh, but we're surrounded by beautiful African ladies in this. Country. Yeah, yeah. They're all there. Why can't you go out there and look for one instead of looking for one in an anime? You see, that's what happens when you're an introvert and you're scared of the world. You see, as <laughs> exactly. a person, you need to go out there and say, okay, this is the kind of woman that I like. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to work on myself, my ambitions and whatnot. And then I'll go out there and find a girl that is actually probably interested in the things I'm interested in. I've yeah. seen guys who date fellow anime or gamers or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, they've got similar mm. interests and it works out. Yeah. Mm. But if you're the kind of person that sits down and thinks to themselves and lives in a delusional world and tell yourself to say, ah, me, I want a girl just like, uh, what character can I say? Okay, you see, I can't even remember any characters. You see, an anime character, this is the type of girl that I want. You will never find that, you know, especially that friend, you, our friend, that was telling us the story who he was saying that he will never date any other girl. He's only interested in anime girls. You know, mm. and he finds <laughs> real girls disgusting. <laughs> and I was like, real girls that disgusting. dude yeah. is a, is no, a no, sickle. No, he actually said that. He said so that. But you, see, you see, probably this is the situation mm. is that he tried his best to attract whatever girl he wanted and he fell short. No, I don't, so think, no, it, I don't so, think that's even the case. Yeah, but mm. probably it is the case because no one can ever come up with a, with a situation like that unless maybe they tried yeah. talking to certain ladies, but then probably they didn't show any interest. And then instead of realizing that probably he's the problem in his head, he just said, they're the problem. They're and the I'm problem. sure, and I'm sure he had weird fetishes. Yes. Yeah, so whenever he it is meets, a fetish. He, he, whenever he probably met or uh, met a girl, probably he was telling her certain things that how she should behave, how she should dress, you know, exactly. and then she probably found that weird. Yeah, she, like, should, she should wear dude, those dude, my uniforms, dude, animal, how, anime girls like yeah. to wear. How would you feel if a lady came to you mm. wanting a relationship and then she dictated everything about your life? No, you need yeah, to that, like the, this, yeah, you need to like that. I, I would think the person is uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Won't like, you run away? Yeah, do, do, do you remember that time when, uh, when Justin Bieber just came on the scene and every girl was just yeah. like, they are looking yeah. for a guy that is just like you Justin see? Bieber? Yeah. And we used to think to ourselves, wow, these chicks are crazy. Yeah. And then they got upset when we were like, oh, we also want a girl that just looks like Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez or Ariana. <laughs> Liana. Then they were really upset. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I remember there was a story yeah. a while back where some guy was mm. dating a chick. But that was, I think that was in the States. Mm. But whereby he was so obsessed with Scarlett Johansson, but he didn't directly tell her that he wants to date someone like Scarlett Johansson. Mm. She just assumed. So she decided to go take a plastic surgery to change herself to... Scarlett Johansson, and then she even looked worse than the girls. Like, Sat, I can't date you anymore. Wow, she went that far. Wow. Now, 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 do you see? Now, that's somebody with with some serious self esteem Bruh. issues. Yeah, but uh, at the what? end of the day, yep. guys, going back again uh, to it. I think I heard the voice. Oh, okay. But uh, oh, yeah, someone's issue. making noise outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. which is odd. Yeah. But um, <laughs> at the end of the day, w w what I believe is this, guys. Listen. I watch, I've been watching anime since 2006. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 2006. Before you I'll actually continue, uh, yeah, what's your favorite anime? Uh, it's always been uh, Dragon Ball Z, mm -hmm. simply because it had just ridiculous drawings and the, the crazy hairdos. Yeah, I yeah. feel like Dragon Ball Z and Yu-Gi-Oh had crazy hairstyles. Because mm -hmm. if you watch anime back in the day, like the 80s, it was almost, you know, the, they were subtle. Yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. hair was normal, yeah, you know. The eyes were but, normal. But Dragon Ball Z just took everything. Like, psh, mm -hmm. everybody was like, who are these splashy looking characters, mm -hmm. you know? Dragon Ball Z has always been my all-time. But um, I, I, I watched the entire Naruto. God damn. All of it. <laughs> That's like From what? when he was, eight, when he was 10. Uh, yeah, from when Shit. he was 10. Watched everything. Mm. Uh, including Shippuden. Never watched Boruto. I, when they just said, oh, Naruto's child. I was like, I'm not watching Sucks. that. Thank I you. I tried no, two no, episodes. No. I was like... <laughs> yeah, but, but at the moment, um, what's my... Uh, I, I like uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. It's dope. Yeah, 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 it's dope. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, Demon Slayer is just doper. I know she's out are there. He's kill. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it is what it is, man. That's what I like, okay? But uh, from there... I do watch anime, yeah, 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 but I'm not crazy about it to a point where I lose myself, mm. where I don't go outside. Mm. Two weeks, mm. it's weird. It's people who even brag to each other. I watched all 15 episodes in the one, in one day, night. in one one night, in one night. And then you're like, like bro, wow. you need to get a life. Yeah. What is your problem? You know what I mean? Uh, otherwise, um, it is what it is. What man. about you, Lars? Favorite anime? Yeah, yeah. One Punch Man, man. 
And there's a reason for that. It's not yeah. because of the, the, you know, the comedy, the action. Mm. It's because, you know, there's some anime are actually that actually uh, teach uh, valuable lessons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because if if you're watching something, right, you have to at least pay attention mm. and find out what kind of value it's adding to your life, True. right? Because if you're sti- if you're always watching something, but to the point whereby it's not helping you perform, yeah. then there's something wrong there. So with One Punch Man, I feel like it, like kind of motivates me to become better because that's the emphasis of it. Yeah. The storyline, the main plot, it's always about becoming stronger, yeah. always being surrounded by certain people and they're elevating and to yourself, like I can't stay at the same level. Mm. I need to also catch up yeah. and become stronger, upgrade myself. Yeah. yeah. And that's, I think that's even reality right now because if you're hanging around a group of people mm. who are elevating themselves, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't want to stay where you are as well. True. Because, yeah. See guys, you've heard, watch anime that actually make you better. Not you're just aimlessly, you're watching romantic anime, watching food anime, you're watching all the kinds I of animes in the world. Tennis, exactly. <laughs> mm, <laughs> like, dude, what is wrong with you? But what if you, you want know? to be a tennis player? Go and practice tennis. We walk, we've got <laughs> okay, what if you want there. to be a chef? Uh, <laughs> there are schools for chefs out there. There is anime for chefs, guy. There are schools. So schools you're saying, reality, me who loves physically. Demon Slayer, I have to be a samurai in some way? Yes. Yes. Buy yes. so die. <laughs> Chop up the simps whenever I see <laughs> Chop up the simps. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. I like that. Yeah, but, but at the end of the day, guys, look, uh, entertainment is part of life. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Humans, humans have to get entertained. All yeah. right? Because if we don't, this is why music, dance, and whatever. Uh, humans, yeah, we'll start to fight each other if we don't exactly. get entertained. But some of you have taken entertainment to obsession. Yeah. You understand? It's not even entertainment anymore. Voila. It's just you getting obsessed. Okay, it would be great if somebody were to, you know, you worked today, you, you did Took some chores around, yeah. you maybe you hit the gym or whatever, yeah. you play some sports, you saw a friend, kissed a girl, then you come and say, oh, I feel like I've done everything today. Mm. Maybe let me watch some anime. Mm. But some of you, that's all you eat, sleep, piss, and shit. Your entire existence consists of this and you refuse to quit. Like, bro, you even say, ah, we are going to binge today. We are going to... <laughs> Bruh. Uh, and then they complain, ah, you know, girls these days are hard to find. Nigga, you're always in the house in front of a TV. Exactly. Look, even exactly. chicks that are... Look, one thing I've noticed. Even chicks that are obsessed with anime, in as much as they would say, I would like my boyfriend that has anime. Women are very strange. You will find she's obsessed with anime. Her boyfriend doesn't even like it. Her boyfriend doesn't, doesn't even, even watch, watch cartoons. Uh, boyfriend he doesn't. doesn't even watch, doesn't even watch, even even watch documentaries on there, ZMBC. There are niggas out there who started watching anime simply because they wanted to attract a certain chick. Exactly. You are trying to sneak your way into her pants via anime. How pathetic I've, And I've met guys like you that. Know, they're not. Oh, they're not. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you like anime. So you, you think at automatically, oh, we have lots of things in common. It's so crazy that guys think having so many things in common with a girl is how you get her. No. Girls I mean, I mean, are usually I mean, dating I mean, a guy who they rarely I mean, even have I mean, anything in common Technically, maybe with. these guys are inexperienced because I also had, uh, you know, mm. thought uh, my thinking back then when I was younger was that I used to think that the more in common you have with a chick, the more you stand a chance of getting her. But mm. probably these guys are kind of like, as you said, they always mm. stay in the house. Yeah. Always, you know, constantly entertaining mm. themselves with anime to the point they don't even yeah. understand how the real world works. Co- so, yeah. you, you, yeah. you know why it doesn't really completely work out? Mm. It's because a woman wants to enter your world. She your wants world. to know. Yes. If she doesn't watch horror movies and you watch horror movies, mm. she wants to know, why is it exciting for you to watch horror movies? Yeah. Why do you like all this? Yeah. I want to enter your world, yeah. not vice versa. Ah. A woman's supposed to follow a while a man's yes. supposed to lead. So at the end of the day, I mean, you could get together because of similar interest, but at the same time, it's going to be completely boring. Because uh-huh. I've, I've, I spoke to a girl, I sat down with her to yeah. say, would you date a guy who's, who has the complete interest as you? She said, no, I would not. She wants yeah. something like, why? It's because it would become boring quickly. It's, a, like, oh, it's a world she's For already real? explored. Yeah, but so yeah. I have a question. Yeah. So how do you think these guys should kind of like snap out of the position they're in because let's say that they are supposed to surround yourself mm. with certain individuals yeah, in yeah. order for you to understand yeah. what you just said about yeah. knowing how women think yeah. or what happens if all of them watch anime they all think the same how is a nigga supposed to so let's say you're saying if the girls and the guys watch anime how are they supposed to snap out of it no i mean the guys mm. how the how is the guys so supposed in to... short it's a group of ner- guys yeah nerd Nerds. guys yeah, exactly. who watch lots of anime yeah. right i believe and you need to uh, as a man 
you need to find other interests that uh, the girl is definitely not into. Let's say you both of you watch anime, you play games yeah. and whatnot, right? I think as a as a guy, you need to also find other hobbies like maybe work out. I should say, mm-hmm. go out. Let's say you sit down and you're like, ah, okay, like you said a while back, you said the reason why guys play, let's say, games like God of War, they want to become like Kratos, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why not work on yourself and become like him so yeah, that she like can Kratos. keep herself interested in you to say, oh, shit, you've changed. Your body is looking, is looking good. Because look, know? look, to be fair, to be fair, <clears throat> let, let, let's face this. There's a reason why games are called virtual. You mm. understand? It's about what you wish to experience real life. Yeah. But they bring it to you on TV. Yeah. Think about it this way. When people are playing Call of Duty, you understand? Yeah. We know you want to hold a gun, nigga. We know you want to go around popping people, but you can't. It's illegal. I mean, so it's yeah. illegal. But the police will arrest you. Yes. This is why others will, will tell you that I joined the army so that I could be holding guns. You know? Others will be like, oh, no, I... If you're in certain countries, you know, I bought myself a, you know, a firearm. Yeah. I'll go to a, to a range, a gun range to shoot targets and whatever because or of I'll that. Go it's an instinct. It's a warrior instinct. Yeah. You're yeah. supposed to be fighting, but they brought you, no, fight in your couch while you're big, fat, and, and lazy. You understand? Mm-hmm. It's the same thing as uh, Mortal Kombat. We know you would like to punch a dude. We know you would like to learn martial arts. So what do you, you do? You'd like you to take be Shao it. Kahn. Exactly. Football is the same. Mm, you, like you, like we Leonel know Messi. you want to be Lionel Messi or, mm. or Ronaldo, right? Mm. You want mm. to score some crazy goals. Mm. Why don't you go outside and I'm try that for a yeah. second? Yeah? yeah, You know, ah, okay, are you good at dribbling in real life? So at the end of the day, it's people, it's the same as, look, video games, I equate them to corn. Mm-hmm, Think about mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm, we mm-hmm. know you want to sleep with a woman, nigga, but you can't because mm-hmm. you can't. So what do you do? You sit and you'd rather watch somebody do it and then jack off. It's the same thing. Even games function in the same way. This is why men are more mentally active and less physically active in today's time. But we're not saying that games are you know? completely bad. We're not saying that, guys. I, for one, I'm saying games are completely bad for certain people. Exactly. Because there are most guys that actually take it overboard, mm. yeah. right? They tend to sit down in the house the whole day you know, playing, 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 but they don't want to do other things. They can't go out. They can't go out, you know. They would rather just sit mm. in one spot, playing yeah. games the whole day and whatnot. But why is it... You can, you, can, you can come out of that system by telling yourself, okay, I want to be more active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do some exercises. Mm. I want to vibe that cast. That one girl, I want to spit some game. Mm. How do I become a better version of myself? Yeah. So at the end of the day, you just need to go out and learn some skills. So yeah, pressure is that niggas that. are always failing to they're, they're scared of failing. Because yeah, look at yeah. these guys. Having the same interest as a girl, just because she's an anime gaming, uh, uh, she's a gamer, she's an anime lover, doesn't mean that's the world you should also dive no, into. You I know, here's games. the thing. I can I, defeat I, all I, these I, guys I can, in yes. the background. I can give <laughs> yeah. <laughs> FIFA. I can that's defeat all of you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look. I will not say ooh with you guys simply because I don't play. Yeah, okay, yeah. but here is what I'll say: for 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 for, for uh, j- just let me break it down in the in layman's terms. Yeah, do you think you can surprise a girl at a restaurant she's been at before? Why? No, no, you, like you can't. Exactly. There's a reason why guys stay away from girls that have been everywhere. Because there's no way you can Dubai. show her which she hasn't been at. Because yeah. she'll tell you, oh yeah, last time we were here. You were uh, here before. You understand? So why would you think joining her interests is how you're going to yeah. be with her? Pressure is that you they watch those, you know, you remember those my old movies, Takudala, like boys in high school. He finds out that this chick likes Michael Jackson, so he also starts listening to Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson so that they can... Yeah. That's not how women function. They want... Look, they already, they've already explored that, that world. Oh, they already yeah. know it, maybe even more than you do, yeah. okay? What they want is another adventure. Don't make them go joyride the ride they've already been playing with, a toy they've played with all their kid. It's like me trying to introduce a girl to Barbie. When I know her entire childhood, she used to play Barbie. And this is why lots of our Zambian girls mm. love to go to Dubai because they've never been there. Exactly. You know? Like Ukaonachi building, this is why 
you know, speaking of Dubai, it's wild. They say what happens. Like, here is the thing, right? I saw some dudes explaining how some of these people who go to Dubai, right? It's for the photos, yeah. for the gram, right? They go rent like cheap motel, really cheap motel, which you never see. Notice these people never take photos in their hotel room. It's like a yeah. cheap motel. The idea is get there, maybe mm. even eat one meal. Or you could Dubai, but you can only afford to eat one meal a day. Yeah, Why could Dubai, you could Dubai, you could Dubai, you could Dubai, you Tied up on internet, you're back. Ah, we went to Dubai. Nigga, we know you were in a cheap hotel. Secondly, you were eating once a day. You understand? So that you can come in. Show, oh, me, I travel. Good for and you. you. And Good you know, Good speaking of that, you know, and it's really sad, like this news that I saw, was it last year or the other year? Yeah. This 19-year-old Ghanaian chick, you know, she had gone flown to Dubai. And, this, and, and the sad part is that not, not many girls know what goes on in Dubai, not mm -hmm. until it's too late for them to actually back off. So there's this one uh, Ghanaian chick, not sure what her name is, was, you know. Is she, she the one that jumped? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently she's been in Dubai for like about, I think, two years. So she was in a, she, she, they got her phone, they got her passport, you know. She would do certain things, they would tell her to do certain things that she at first found okay in the beginning. You know, but at the end of the day, she got fed up of it, and she was quite young, nineteen. And like you said, she used to live in cheap motels, not in these fancy motels that you see on t on mm. on Facebook or in, on TV. You know, and then she just got fed up of it, and then tried to tell her, tell the people to say, "Look, me, I want to go back home. I miss home. I want to see my mother." Blah blah. But they would refuse her to do that due to I don't know what uh, what happens. Then apparently, she decided to just end her life and just jump off. A building and then boom okay she, i've got a question for these girls that go yeah. travel abroad and uh, so blindly do you honestly think the world is that simple that somebody will just text you boom i'll fly you to dubai you see, a return ticket no I, I know but i'm mm -hmm. just trying to get into the psyche of some of these people i understand that people have needs. I understand people want to experience things mm -hmm. but do you think life is that simple somebody will call you up just tell you, I can fly you to Dubai to and from. I'll, uh, uh, I'll give you a hotel. I'll pay for your hotel for food. You can have fun. You can go boat cruising and whatever here. And all you have to do is, you know, it's just like a simple thing. Do you honestly think life is that simple? There are always things that are attached. There's that thing, there's a saying, not all that glitters is gold. Like, if you were walking in the forest, D.C., right? You're walking in the forest. You're in the middle of nowhere. Then all of a sudden, you see a plate with just nice fried chicken with fried. Would you go and take it? Of course. Yeah, no, I, you, I, I believe you. <laughs> I you would know, eat it. I, I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah. I, I would chow down that chicken and chips. Right? Yeah, but when I'm joking. I this is how I'd most of these suspicious. girls, like, you should be, like, no one just gives out that kind of luxury for nothing. I mean, no, I mean, just I mean technically, work like, you have to understand that men and women think differently. So, so with a man, with a man, he's it. more he's more logical in terms of situations mm. like that. Oh, the, he, he's more open to question mm. himself and say, "Why is this here? Why is that here?" But with women, they're more emotional. So let's say in a position where she's maybe like financially, you know, having financial struggles and all that, yeah. she's going to use her emotions in that moment to say, "I need to survive. I can't stay like this." Mm -hmm. So probably most women will take that opportunity, Otherwise, or so most sad. of them might be enticed by someone else. Who's gone through that nice process? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So sad. Because you know, and the fact is that it's sad because most of them are not educated. Yeah, exactly. So I can't, I can't really put the blame so hard on most young women. Yeah. If you're above 25, I, I'm blaming mm. you. Yeah. But if you're like 18, 17, 19, uh, 20, I mean, it's, you, their parents did not educate them on certain things that happen around the world. Yeah. Because parents, it's like what Doc Brown said on a couple of episodes back, parents are to blame for raising children. Yeah. So you need to sit down and say, look, there are certain things that a woman should, not, should be aware of in the world. Yeah. People are going to use you for your, uh, they're going to use your body for, for money. Yeah. So you need to watch out for these things. Then when she sees it happening, she would now be aware to say, mm, because, this is what my parents told me. Yeah, because the problem I have with today's uh, like parents, how they raise their kids, is because they're trying to raise their women just like the men. Exactly. That's the mistake. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I, understand, I understand taking them to schools as a necessity at some point, but we're both not the same. We all have uh, you know, our different struggles. 
like like women they're born with value right yeah so they're going to be in a world where everyone just especially if they're not careful mm-hmm. every man just wants to sleep with you mm-hmm. so effectively whenever they're in a situation where he's displaying certain you know traits that mm-hmm. may seem like as if he's being a kind gentleman but mm-hmm. in actual reality he's just trying to get into our parts mm-hmm. just like yeah. when you when you've got a girlfriend you're supposed to teach her to say look that boss wants to take you out for lunch wants to take you out for dinner actually you need to watch out it's either you refuse and tell him if you want to have a meeting have let's have it at the office yeah. rather than going out and having dinner with him i'm like what is it that he cannot say at the office that he has to say at dinner knowing very well that in his head he knows that this person is dating unless if she's single yeah go ahead let, 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 let her do whatever she wants but if she's dating these are girls you need to teach because there are some women who are also models who want to get into the modeling industry they have no idea that there are certain things that they have to do not saying that the modeling industry is 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 crazy but even some other jobs as well out there there are things that women need to sit down because the most vulnerable human being in on earth is a woman yeah so you that women need to be be sat down and be taught to say look people are going to use you for your body they will destroy you they will damage you so you need to look out for certain instances certain signs that you need to back off to say if i go this direction i will be destroyed so you need to educate yourself you know this is where now feminism has to teach women to say look women there are people out there who are going to misuse you even there are also fellow women who dragged their women to the ground or because they went through that you know not whereby feminists that these modern feminists toxic feminists are actually teaching women to be spiteful towards men or men yeah. exactly <laughs> or men or men are trash no we're not you know you know one thing i've come to notice about everything that we've just spoken about here yeah, yeah, including yeah. anime yeah. including uh dubai and uh, uh all these uh work relationships it's all to do with money Money. It all revolves around money. money. Because yeah. think about it like this. Mm. If you are a lazy fool that watches anime, playing games the whole day and jacking off, what is it that you're doing? You're making money for other people except you. Because yeah. here's the thing. You're going to stream porn. You saw mm-hmm. some ads. Money was made by that porn site. Mm-hmm. You jumped to watch the latest anime, whether subbed or dubbed, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, you understand? For all those yeah. people out there, I watched you dubbed. Watched. Other, Come for me, exactly. I watched dubbed. Others, they even pay, oh no, I have a Crunchyroll subscription. Money was made off mm. your lazy ass. Yep. Yeah. You're okay? Video games, oh no, buying and selling players and all these fantasy football, whatever. Money was made off your stupid lazy ass at the end <laughs> of the day. With ladies, okay? They also pray for prey. Women may not be milked out of their money and their essence like men are, but there are ways they are exploited in order to give up something. You dig? The same issue for Dubai. You travel, you shine. Money was made. Videos were taken of you, and that video will be bought by some crazy sickos. There are people who just secretly tape people having sex. So they can go sell it to some sickos out there who just like to voyeurism as they call yeah. it. They like yeah. to watch other people do it. They like to see, ah, yeah, and there are people who are actually aroused by that. Money was made off you mm. without you even realizing. Mm. So what the guy gave you? Ah, uh, they gave me a two thousand dollars. The video you featured in, they sold it for five hundred thousand mm. dollars. It was auctioned, and all you got was two grand. On top of that, you don't even know. <laughs> Speaking of which, these guys, they take their passport and their phones. There is no... You, you can't ask. They isolate them. They isolate and them and as the well. fact is that uh, this, is, uh, this is not me speculating. Mm-hmm. This, I watched a video of a Ugandan lady actually speaking on this. Yeah. You know, She said they got their phones, they got their passports, and she's, they... They live more like in a boarding house they, where there are like 20 of them in uh, one room, you know? So they like confiscate all these things. They have to be now smart enough to know that, okay, how am I going to contact my family outside? So they have to be quick and smart enough. This is why you find that most ladies actually really disappear. And these are things mm-hmm. that women need to know and sit down to say, guys, like you said, not everything that glitters is gold. Yeah. You know, you would have to give up something of in course. order to go <clears throat> there. You know, so if you're if you're that type of woman that says I don't give a damn, I just want to go to Dubai. I don't care what happens to me. 
<laughs> Here's what I can but, tell the people out there. Li- listen, I understand there are people who like to shit where they poop, or rather, w- who like to eat where they poop, but let me help you to at least pick up that poop, okay? If you're going to go to Dubai, at least the one they will see you with, the one they will confiscate, and then have a burner, the one no one knows about, in case things go south. That's the problem. We are even teaching now people basic uh, thinking. Like, look, if you know this is a place where they confiscate my phone, I'm going in this place with another phone. You understand? For sure, there will be instances they will tell you, oh, no, they search us, mama and Ashan. Then at the end of the day, sorry, honey, I can't help you. You can't be going to a place where they refuse you. They cut communication. How are these things even legal in these places? Anyway, pressure anyway. is that these guys are too powerful. They they they, co- yeah. they work with the with the law enforcement. Even though you tell the police no one will help you because they already own the police at some yeah. point. But anyway, so. I still want to go to Dubai. I want to experience it. I want to experience <laughs> the boat cruise. I want to experience the, the We, we the all want to go to Dubai, you know? man. We all want to go to Dubai. I want to see the girls, man. That's what I want to see, bruh. <laughs> But anyway, uh, Did we you would like to that, talk Mike? about. I heard that, man. <laughs> Did you hear what you just said? Did you hear what you said? He uh, wants to <laughs> literally leave his country just to go see girls. I mean, we. This is here. why Cape Verde is trending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like to go to Cape Verde, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> come on, give me all <laughs> Cape Verde now. Come yeah. on. Anyway, you know, I would like. Yeah, yeah. would like to dive into a topic. We mm. actually spoke about this. A couple of uh, months yeah, ago, I forgot right? we even have a yeah. topic. We, 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 we went spoke so about this yeah. a couple of months ago. That was baby mamas, you know. Mm. We went after the baby mamas and whatnot, the good and bad things about mm. baby mamas. But now, we are speaking about baby daddies. And a lot of women out there have been complaining about how nasty baby daddies have been, how unsupportive baby daddies have been. And apparently, it seems that the increase in baby mamas is just rising, man, guys. It's rising. So, we cannot blame it on one side we now have to take uh, take action on the men that are actually abandoned abandoning the responsibilities as a father and you know and, and i know a couple of uh, ladies personal yeah. uh, personal to my life you know that actually complained to say this guy just did it and just left you know never assumed responsibility and it's really really sad out there so we're calling out the baby daddies out there so yeah guys um that's our that's our topic for... And for it's like what I said a while back. I was yeah. like, ah, if you're a guy who's broke, don't deal with women. Yeah. Because now effectively, you'll be putting yourself in a position where she, you, you get her knocked up. Okay, now she comes to your door knocking because you seemed motivated mm-hmm. when you first met her. Oh, I want her, I want her. But now that she has your child, now mm-hmm. you want to back off of the yeah. responsibility. Yeah. Because, yeah, so that's the, that's the thing. Most baby daddies usually put themselves in a situation where deep down they know that, okay, or I want from high sex, and then I bounce. Mm-hmm. But the moment she has the kid, then he runs away from his responsibilities. And that's so, I've, to be honest, I've never met a guy, a baby, a baby daddy who's actually taking full responsibility and say, I want to support, support the child. Mm-hmm. I've never met one, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, here's one thing I'm going to say. Look, um, I'm not going to go easy on this issue. Just say, oh, guys, stop uh, the baby daddies and blah, 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 blah. Here is the problem, okay? When you're dealing with niggas, when you're dealing with men, you have to be slightly aggressive. And I'm just going yeah. to call a spade a spade. Listen, if you're a baby daddy and you don't take care of your kid, you are weak. You don't even deserve the very item you use to impregnate the chick between your legs. You don't deserve it. First of all, here's the thing. You know, there are times I wish like these guys who make their baby mamas suffer in the sense that you impregnate a chick what disappear or disappear. Yep. Wakana vumo. There are niggas, because it, how it starts is like this. It just doesn't, baby, oh, she's pregnant. He runs away. No. <laughs> they first know. try to convince <laughs> the chick to abort. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Majority of the time. And this is, ladies, I'm on your side today. Okay? Listen, if you get pregnant and the chick and the guy who's responsible for your pregnancy is trying to force you to get rid of the baby for his own convenience, refuse. Take him to court. Take, look, in as much as women have the right to abort or not, but here is the thing. Sometimes it's good to punish a guy for his own self-destructive behavior. Because there are guys out there running around, ah, like, say, you know, I've been trying to convince my girl, you know, she's pregnant. And so that she should get rid of it. There are guys out there forcing. I, I, did I ever tell you that I heard a guy over the phone, I overheard him, 
shouting at his girl, trying to shame her. He will just take the pill, I told you. Shan, shan, shan. Me, I can't take care of this kid. You nigger, when you were sleeping with this woman unprotected, Bro. you didn't think about that? Yeah. You didn't think about that? Now, push has come to shove and you want to run away from your accountability? You want to run away from your responsibilities? No. Sometimes, ladies, here's what you should do. Let the guy pay for his consequences. Because you see, we... We fail to understand that, first of all, the woman has to carry this baby for nine, nine months, months yeah. which nine is months. a very long Sometimes time. Even Secondly, she has to be now there to nurture the kid. Then it will, all you have to do is run. And guys there don't even think about the psychological problems an abortion gives a woman. Because mm -hmm. guys are just too quick to say, ah, baby, abort, because you're too scared. Because one, because there's so many women yeah. who've actually like really imagined having a child. Yeah, yeah. So now when the, when the moment comes... Then now just try to imagine this, a guy trying to force you to abort. Exactly. And, and, and here's the thing. There are some selfish guys out there. They never think of, uh, one, mm. mental uh, struggle, yep. yeah, two, physically. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. First of all, we've had women, she aborts, right? Then after doing that, she now has trouble to have a baby. Because exactly. her reproductive system is messed up. Yep. Simply because she wanted to appease a nigger. I shouldn't even call him a nigga. You, you're not even a man. She wanted to appease a man that... A fool. A fool. <laughs> a you understand? She wanted to... to first, she risked her reproductive system for you. Iwech puba wankala kunyumba. Ah, no, my mother. Wu shan shan yuko. One, your mental, your, your, mental, your mental struggle. My mother told me this. You know? My mother told me this. My mom did psychology. She said, Chabota, listen. Because, oh yeah, for those who don't know, that's, that's the, what my mom calls me. The know. mental toll it takes on a woman mm -hmm. when she aborts is so serious, she never forgets her entire life. Mm -hmm. She never forgets. You see, as guys, we never think like that because one, you're not the one carrying the pregnancy. Two, you're not the one who's going to take the, the abortion. So you, it's about, ah, at least I won't be able to buy my, my diapers and, and baby formula. That's all you think about. You're so short-sighted. But you never think about the struggle the woman is going to go through. Yep. The mental struggle. It really messes them up mentally. Do your research and see what it does to them. But you're so self-centered. All you think about is yourselves. Mm -hmm. Ladies out there, if a man you slept with, he impregnates you. He starts forcing you to get rid of the baby for his own benefit so that he can run away from responsibilities. <laughs> you know refuse for him. And you, know, who can need it. and you know what's so interesting mm. is that there will be men try to force them to abort it, but it's not like as if they'll even be in a relationship with them no. at the end of it. Be, and exactly. that's the thing. Immediately the, the, the chick aborts, they'll be like, whew, that was a close call. I dodged a bullet. Now bounce. Imagine. That's what niggas, Imagine. majority of the guys that have forced a girl to abort they never even stick with her exactly. after they are born. Yeah. Exactly. That's the problem with these exactly. niggas. They we never. are having so many irresponsibly weak men out there that are forcing women to abort. Mm -hmm. I do not like it. Because mm -hmm. it just goes against what we believe in. Exactly. There's a guy who's ah, we, kunikumuza, icho, samimbayo. You moron. Because, and because you know it's funny is that certain men come from yeah. a household where both parents are there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're financially secured mm -hmm. and then they should behave like fools. Mm -hmm. exactly. Which means if there's one thing they've never been taught is mm -hmm. how to treat a woman. That's yeah. the one thing that for, was missing. For sure. For yeah. sure. Because yeah. you should be very considerate at this place. You know, most people would, like, look, I for one, there was a time, a girl, I was dating at the time. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, look, I think he, I missed my, my, my period has delayed. Mm -hmm. My heart went like, Koof. I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna mm -hmm. be a papa. Mm -hmm. Then she said, so what do we do? I was like, ah, we are adults. This, 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 what do you want us to do? Ah, do you want to get her? I was like, no, no that's no, no, not no. the type. That's no. Do you honestly think I'm that type of guy? Like, look, in a, I already even started thinking of a name. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so what am I, if it's a boy, what am I going to call this? Karas. You understand? Two. Is it going to be Karas Jr.? Ah, maybe Anga. Karas the Maybe you'll be worse than me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, if it's yeah, yeah. a girl, maybe I should give her my mother's name or something. I started thinking. Yeah. That's how fast I was thinking. Yeah. I already started thinking of the name. Yeah. Then I started to think, okay, mm -hmm. uh, there's definitely going to be my ultrasound, my shine, all those expenses. My brain just went in like, Hyper mode. Hyper mode. Now I said, okay, now I'll need money. This kid in the next coming, no, two years, three years from now, this kid will need to go to school. I have to be making so much by that. That's how fast. Mm -hmm. And 
two days later, she texts me, oh, no, my pizza are back. So I was like, well, that was close, but I was prepared for it, though. You understand? But there are guys <laughs> out there that are not <laughs> strong enough. They're not strong enough to think to that level. In, I would never. I would never. Yeah, First listen, of all, I love kids. That's one thing. Exactly. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I really love kids. I've taken care mm -hmm. of my, my cousins and my sister's uh, uh, babies for. I was the type of guy they even used to leave to babysit. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. In a, babies are not a problem for me. You understand? Because the fact is that, That's you know, deal. if guys actually are put in that position mm. where they need to tell the girl to say, ah, you need to abort and whatnot, the thing is that those guys end up being irresponsible. They end up yes, being because they are running away they from each being, problem. They end up being alcoholics. Yeah. They just want to go ahead and sleep with whoever chick, yeah. we want to sleep with multiple chicks out yes. there. And this is why we've got an increase of baby mamas because all these guys tend to sit down and lie to these women. Yes. Say, no, don't worry, I'll take care of you. Don't worry, I'll marry you. Don't worry, I'll do this. Don't worry, I'll be there even when, when you've got a kid. And then what do they do? They, they tend doubt. to disappear. And it's really mm. sad because I know, I know a lot of baby mamas uh, personally uh, in my life that you find that why, why did you look at him like that? <laughs> so, I didn't look oh, at him okay. anybody. Are you so, crazy? Ah, sorry. Yeah, same thing, bro. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so anyway, so the fact is that I, I know a lot of them personally, and the fact is that they've told me, sat down, and they've explained the story to me. And I'm like, ah, but this guy, why didn't he assume responsibility? He just left just like that. Mm. He's like, yeah, he just left. I'm like, you see, these are the things we need to address as men to say, the reason why there are so many baby mamas is because even us as guys men are, are lying, not responsible enough. They are not responsible. They are weak. Yeah. They keep on lying to these mm. women yeah. to say, ah, no, don't worry, I'll be there for you. Or just about the baby, don't worry, I'll, 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 I'll keep on dating. And this is why you said that they would tell the lady to say, look, I bought the child. But at the end of the day, they do not continue their relationship with a girl. Yeah. Then what was the reason for you to actually tell her to abort? So that you can yeah, feel better. No, about exactly. No, it's, 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 it's running away from responsibilities. It, Girls, here's one thing I will tell you. Okay, take. I'm sorry to say this, but take one for the ladies. Take one for the team. Mm -hmm. Listen, when he impregnates you and he tells you to abort, just know, one, he's told other women to do exactly just that. Yes. So this guy is a serial... Aborter. That's what we're yeah. going to call him. Yeah. That's what he does. Every time yeah. he impregnates a girl, that's the first thing he thinks of. Abort. You know, you know what? I think, we Let's, should, uh, I think we should have a system so that these guys are yeah, like, cause, inspired. Cause, uh, not to do, because let, exactly. let's just try to imagine if the first time she gets pregnant, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's now this rule where it says whoever is the father, take him to court. It doesn't matter whether he's married or not. Yes. Take him to court so that he can yeah, assume cause, cause the responsibilities. Look, look at because it. that way yeah. it will now don't on them and say, okay, I'm not think supposed about, to sleep around anyhow. That, that's mm. true. Because think about it this way, right? Think about it this way. The only time men are going to be responsible, if, is they, if they know, like, listen, when I sleep with a woman, I have to, be, I have to make sure mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm using protection here. Because mm -hmm. once she's pregnant, I am done. Mm -hmm. I have to have this responsibility. Mm -hmm. Because the problem is this, abortion is making men escape responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. They are escaping responsibility. If, look, I, you remember that girl that was, she, she, she aborted then in school, then I think she, she had a health problem, she collapsed, collapsed yeah, yeah, and she was arrested. Yeah. Look, in as much, we understand here in our country, abortion is illegal, yeah, yeah. you will get arrested. Yeah. But I feel like the, the law has to be updated to a point that, yeah. If a guy is forcing a girl to abort, he should too be arrested. Because yeah. why are you, look, why are you it forcing your friend to commit side. a crime? Exactly. Yeah. It like, be one side. it's the same as me trying to, to tell you to commit theft. Yeah. I'm, I'm instigating here. I'm actually the one plotting a uh, uh, bur burglary or um, stealing, right? Mm. I should be arrested for the guy who planned the robbery. Mm. You understand? So, ladies, I, for one, what I'll tell you is this. If your man is there trying to force you to abort, you should at least try and go report him to the police. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now... These the men have to be accountable. Yeah. We yeah. can't be... Have you noticed it's always the guy... Uh, how much is the pill? Uh, there's a price for it. There's a yeah. guy who's... Uh, I'm looking for so, so much and so much. Yeah. <laughs> and you so, call yourself a man. Yeah, so this is why for men, no, it's very important mm. to make sure that if you're going to end up being in a situation where yeah. you didn't plan to get her pregnant, mm. at least have money. Mm -hmm. At least be yeah. financially stable. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that even if you don't love her, even mm. if you are not romantically linked with her, mm. take care of the child, assume responsibilities. Yeah. That mm. way she's going to have a good opinion on you. Exactly. Yeah. In and short, ladies. if you're broke, sorry to cut you short. Yeah. Guys, if you're broke, no sex for you. 
Yeah. Simple as pie. Let, let's just put a gold standard here. Broke, yeah. no sex. And and and, la- and ladies and ladies, please, 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 please. And this is something that I've I've, I've advocated mm. for women a lot. You know, especially the women that are actually in boxer men's conference is that yeah. when you meet a guy, right? Don't think him staying, you giving him sex is going to make him stay. Nope. Because at the end of the day, when he ejaculates inside you, you will be the same one who will be complaining about health problems. Mm-hmm. You know, you'll be the same one who will be carrying the child for nine months. You know, you'll be the same one who will be left responsible. You have responsibilities on you to take care of the kid while the guy is out there playing around. Mm. So you don't have to give him sex immediately. You first have to test him. Yeah, he has to be him. worthy yeah. of it. He has to be worthy of you, you know. And this is something that I sat down with a girl to say, look, sit down, analyze the guy. It doesn't matter whether it's a year. Sit down and see, okay, this guy is worthy of my body. Let me give it to him. In fact, better yet, wait until marriage. Because you women, these days, it seems that women are giving it, giving They've made it, it too easy, as man. anyhow. They've made easily. it too easy. You've made it too easy. Just take a shoe, you're sleeping with a guy. <laughs> Just take a ceiling, you're sleeping hey, with a guy. Hey, you see, you know? no, he had, a house, he had yeah. a ceiling board in his house. I'll sleep with and, him. I'll and, sleep with him. And, We've said girls say by, that. And by the way, because sex, be me, uh, for, for, for men... Sex is different from the way it is for, for women. Yeah, women, yeah. women usually use sex as a way to feel connected to their partner. Yes, yeah, yeah. With Very men, much. they just see it as a way to... Conquest. Exactly. Y- so, you know, sorry to cut you short, yeah. but the reason why there were not as many baby mamas, mamas and baby mm-hmm. daddies back in the day compared to now is simply because sex has just become too accessible. Even the unworthy are having sex. What happened to women saying, look, in, if you want, you have to be the best of the best yep. to have this. What happened to that standard? And this is why I always say, women, you are the gateway to sex itself. When a woman doesn't want to sleep with you, it never happens. Yeah. If it goes, then it's forcing and we know what crime that is. Yeah, because right? this, this might be weird to say, but yeah. I think that you trying to build yourself up to a point whereby now you have access to kind of, uh, any kind of woman you want, I think mm. that's a great motivator. Yeah. If you have a dream of a certain lady you want, you have to work hard. Exactly. You have to make sure you create value uh. so that when you meet that lady that yeah. you want, then you'll be able to... You yeah, because women do help make men become better men. Exactly. Yeah. Look, men have always gone to... Look, men went to conquer other countries because of their women. Yes. Yeah. Men went to war to prove to their women that, look... I can go fight. I can protect you. Yes. Okay. Men went to war, literally dodging bullets and knives and whatever came and bombs just to prove to their woman. Yeah. Men had to build skyscrapers, build all crazy technology just to prove to their woman that I can do it. I am not a piece of shit. Yeah. But these days, a kambuanga, a useless chap is getting cut. Why are you opening legs to useless chaps? Let's create a standard. Let's bring it back. Yeah, if he ain't <laughs> worthy, he ain't getting nothing. Simple as pie. Yeah, mm. I can give you like an example, right? Uh. Like, why do you think women all dress up so nicely? Yeah. So they, they can impress who? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's men. peacocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. peacocking. Can, yeah. So that they can impress the men. Mm. So I feel, I believe that even men should use women as a motivation yeah. in order to build themselves up. Exactly. I, I, don't, I don't agree with the fact when they say, no, I met this chick, she rejected me, I'm going to get my revenge, I'm going to build myself up to the point I'm going to it deny It never even works, like, actually, because you're no. using... That's the wrong motivation. Exactly. So, she she exactly. will regret leaving me. Nigga, exactly. calm down. And who knows, maybe what the, the reason why she, she left you is because... You're useless. Yes. Uh, you're simple useless, as fine, you know? Because you know? uh, at the end of the mm. day, I mean, you, women don't understand how important they are in a man's life. Let me yeah, give you an too example. Too important. You know the reason why we don't have like nuclear wars, you know, in other countries? is because that one woman, your yep. wife has told you, mm, babe, you want to bomb that other country all because this guy insulted you? No, let me, let, let's go in the bedroom, I give you a head. Yeah. By that, that time, way, oh, when you go, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. I can't I believe I almost tried to, yeah. to, to destroy Imagine. another nation. Oh, hey, to be honest with you. he insulted yes. me. Because to be honest with you, if we were living in a world of just men, Man. uh, we, the world would have ended a long yeah, because, time ago. Because Not only it. just people dying out, but people we wouldn't have even had a, we wouldn't have even had time to wait exactly yeah. to because, die out. Yeah, exactly. because face we would it. have dropped bombs on each yeah, other. Face it, because you know? the, the most dangerous people out there 
are men who don't have access to women. Exactly. Yes, those yes, are the yes, those yes, are the ones that can act up anytime. Simple as pie. Yeah, like like mm. this uh thing I saw I was walking at Intercity, right? Mm. I'm going. Ooh, 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 ooh. So this guy grabs his girl. You know, with these these uh, Intercity conductors, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He grabs his girl. And this guy in front of him mm. goes, "Ah, so who do you think you are?" That's because you've got a girl by your side. You think you can do anything you want. Hey, then there's a fight actually broke out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, because this other, he was jealous because this other guy had a woman by his, by his yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the, the, this the, is what, and this is why he said the most dangerous man is, uh, the most dangerous person is a man that doesn't, who can't have access to women. Exactly. Because now you, you look at it, the importance of why it's good to have women around. Yeah. Like you've said, uh, a, a certain president maybe of a country that holds nuclear bombs, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wants to destroy the other country simply mm-hmm. because they had beef. There's a the reason why the first lady's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. <laughs> then the first lady's like, baby, mm-hmm. do you want to drop a bomb on that country simply because you guys are the squabble? Mm-hmm. Since politicians always want to make every, yeah, their yeah, beef, yeah, everybody's exactly, beef exactly, for, some pre- exactly. for some apparent reason. Yeah. No. Relax. Listen, okay, listen, okay. Let's give it tomorrow and then see how you feel about yeah, it. Yeah. Then she gives you crazy head. And you're like, you know what I mean? Then tomorrow you're like, you're plating with your life. There's a reason why men. So, ah, maybe <laughs> I was just tripping two yeah. minutes ago. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason why men yeah. and women exist. Because yeah, yeah, if yeah. one women gender, dead, yeah. if one gender didn't need the other one, then one only one would have only uh, was existed. Yeah, exactly. Like say, let's say if a man only said no, women, we don't need women, then men would have only existed. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's a reason why both, both, yeah. Both, yeah. Both yeah. You know, I, I feel like women calm men down. When, yeah. You know, a man yeah. is always at the end. You're always there at the cliff. You're yeah. always at the edge, about to do something really stupid. Yeah. Then girls kind of come and pull you back and yeah. say, "Yo." Because I remember I was in down. this situation where I was so pissed off with uh, mm. some guy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, that guy, I'm going to, I'm going to confront him and whatnot. She was like, babe. So what some do you want? A yeah. soft she was, touch. She uh, held me, <laughs> my hand, <laughs> and my anger started to reduce. And I'm like, like, I was like, oh, what is this? Why you not funny is that he doesn't look like an angry person. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 he doesn't. He, he, what I've noticed, D, when he's upset, yeah. he just keeps quiet. Just you know, quiet. I just oh, okay. know that he's so, upset. Yeah, so yeah. I, I was calm. I was like, woman's touch, fam. I was like, oh, why? Because this guy did this to me. I was mm. like, no. I mean, okay, why? Then what? <coughs> then I started to question my life. I'm like, hmm. I said, babe, let's just go home. Mm-hmm. I was like, you're right. Do you realize you're that? Right. Do you realize that Samson would have been a very dangerous man? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. With all that power he had? Exactly. There's a reason why he used to go visit Delilah once yeah, upon yeah, a time. Yeah, you know, because yeah, yeah. he was like, I'm going to beat that dude. Anyway, let me go see Delilah. I'll come and beat him tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After he's done, he's like... Forget the beef. What's that? <sighs> oh, I was supposed to fight a guy. Ah, ah no, I'm too I'm drained I need right to now. go. Yeah I, yeah, I spent a lot of energy. Yeah. with Delilah, Koja. So yeah. It is what it is. The conclusion is that, guys, mm. out there who are thinking the men's conference podcast is about uh, a podcast that hates on women. Yeah. No. It's a podcast that actually educates women and men, yeah. more especially men. Mm. Because we've seen so many platforms that support women. Why can't we have a platform that supports men? So for all those men out there, you need to understand that this podcast is not about hating Mm. women, but it's about understanding yourself, more especially, and understanding women. Women are there to compliment us very well. Women are there to actually hold us down. Women are there to actually give us kids. Women are there to help us. Women are there to actually nature us. So as men, you need to sit down and analyze yourself to say, Hmm. You forgot one point. What point is that? Women are there to also gossip about men. Yes, women are there <laughs> to gossip good things about us because we are great people in this world of society. Oh. We are the ones who built everything. So you need to be there <laughs> to understand that men are great people. Yeah. Men are not competitors. Yeah. Men are actually awesome people. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, guys, men's conference is not a woman hating podcast, but it's about understanding yourself as a man. What is it that you're trying to do? Look at yourself in the mirror, and this is something that I'll keep on saying. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, if I was a girl, would I date me? You know? That so you need to question. Exactly. Yeah, you need to ask yourself that question every day. Self-introspection is very, very, When you very, wake up at important. six hours in the morning, when you wake up at six hours in the morning, you need to ask yourself, am I doing better? What are the things that I'm doing in life? What should I achieve? If I want to get that girl, what is it that I should do to get that girl? If I want to have a family of 10 kids, what, am I, what should I do? 
plan your future five years ahead, and this is mm-hmm. something that my grandfather, late grandfather, told me, is that you need to sit down as a man and plan your future five years ahead, not plan your future today and say, ah, tomorrow I think I'll get a car. No, no, no. That's not how life works. If you want to be rich and powerful, if you want to be on top of that uh, standard as a man, you need to sit down and dot down things that you want to do in life. Yeah. So, shit. You know, because every man has a process. Yeah. I personally, I'm in the process of it. I'm mm. not rich. No. Okay? I'm not rich. Neither am I poor. No, no, no. All right? I'm poor. I'm, I'm on, uh, you know, each and every day, you, 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 stri- you know, you've strategized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've planned how you want things to happen in the yeah, next yeah. coming few years. Yeah, yeah. But not everything comes to, uh, not everything goes ac- according to plan. True. But you will, there will be times you, de- you have been derailed, you have to go sideways, but still have a blueprint of your life, all right? So that you should be able to know, okay, even though I've been derailed, but... Uh, and I and I believe that the, men, the, 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 the end yeah. goal is yeah, the, that yeah. thing that I want to achieve. Yeah, yeah. and know? I believe that men are supposed to fail in order to understand what went wrong in the beginning. Because if everything, if everything went smoothly, I don't think they would have actually gained any. You know, no, you, you can't learn from success all the yeah. time. You know, you learn more from failure. Yeah, you know, but 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 at the end of the day, we have to understand that we're living in a in a in a, in a time where men and women are distracted. Very much. Very much. Mm. Compared to how, di- how... Look, I don't... Look, our grandparents, the only distraction they had was... Uh, I don't even think they had many distractions. You understand? No. They knew, look, I have to get up, go to work, make money, come back, eat, uh, make sure the kids are fine, so on and so forth, uh, have some time with my wife, blah, blah, blah. You understand? Maybe, oh, we played... Uh, we went to play golf. My grandpa used to play golf. Mm. He used to also play darts, mm. you know? You go have some beers with his friends. Come back. There wasn't much to do. Yeah. In our time, there's a problem. You can even be distracted without going outside. Just mm. your phone is distracting you with all sorts of things. Mm-hmm. You want to keep up with trends. You mm-hmm. want to keep up with so on and so forth. You want to do all these crazy things. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure you answer this one. You pr- there are so many distractions in today's time. But what we have to figure out at the end of the day is that with all these distractions, at least have like a plan. Mm-hmm. Have like a plan. Know what you're doing. Know what your next move is. You mm-hmm. should be able to do great. And uh, there's this something I want to emphasize on the men out there is mm. that remember that victimhood does not work as well for women. For, uh, men. for men. It does not work as well for men, men than it does, than for, it women. does for women. Yeah, yeah. That is something that you may need to understand. Or because women have got these seminars where they can, um, can, can be emotional doesn't mean that even as a guy, you need to start crying. That now <laughs> makes you weak at the end of the day. We're not here to seek your emotions, to listen to your problems, because we all know that if you have problems as a, as a man, you need to solve it right there and then. What is it that you're doing about it? You know? So the podcast is here to actually build you as a man. It's not here to listen to, to your emotions, mm. sim to your emotions, and you're out there saying, ah, this is the podcast, they listen to me. No, 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 no. Mm. This is why we've got quotes the world is not favorable to broke guys. The world is not favorable to men who are too emotional. The world is only favorable to powerful men, ambitious men, men that actually want to do better in life. Mm. So that's what you should actually remember as men. And this is why last week I said, the other week, is that if you've got 10 men and 10 women in a village and you uh, have those 10 men actually go out to war, and one of them actually comes back and there are 10 women in the tribe, the world population will shall increase yeah. and whatnot. But with women, if 10 women went out to the war, it's going to be very, very difficult to rep- replenish the population. With one woman. With yeah, one cause, woman. Because, you know, uh, we're living in a time, thank you for actually bringing that uh, victim word in. Uh, it, there is nothing more disgusting. You know? You don't, look, you don't understand how grotesque it is to see Certain men on social media come and air their laundry out. They even write one long, long post. In any my the first paragraph when I find that this guy is whining. Next. Like, look, bro. Think about this for a second. Men have problems. For sure we do. We've got struggles that we go through. Depression creeps in for everybody. Men and women. 
But I am not going to be that dude that you seek sympathy to, to be like, oh, bro, it's going to be okay. No, it's not. It won't be okay if you continue with that attitude mm -hmm. of trying. Like, first of all, what do people even look for? You come on social media to air your to my depression and how life is not going well for you. What is it that you want people to do for attention, you? Attention, man. Attention. What? To, to, oh, oh, the heart emoji is going to fix your problems? Mm -hmm. The comment in the, in the comment section will fix your problems? Mm. Like, bro, you are not going to come here cry. And this is why we are being called the cupcake generation, mm -hmm. the butterfly mm -hmm. generation. Mm -hmm. You think our grandparents never went through stuff? They did. They, never, they did. A lot. But guess what? They never whined about it. They were like, ah, life is life. They're almost eaten ah, by but, lions. But what can I do next? Yeah, because I think, what can I do next? I think the situation huh? there is that probably because they lived in harsh conditions, yeah. which forced them to adapt. Now, mm. we're living in a time where most things are easy, yeah. so it's making men weaker. That's exactly. The then exactly. immediately you have one small hiccup. You want to make it the country's problem. Imagine. Like, look, bro, I do not care about how you, uh, how you have suffered. We are all suffering. We are all struggling here. But when you come on social media, no, you know, life hasn't yeah. been favorable. But look, <laughs> only women are allowed to do that. Yeah. You know why? Because listen, have you ever noticed why there are not so many homeless women compared to homeless men? <sighs> you know why? Because women, first of all, they are more vulnerable than you are. That's you understand? understand? It's not that there is just favoritism. Women are more vulnerable than you are. Okay? You as a guy, you can still, look, you as a guy, you can still sleep outside. You understand? You can still sleep outside. You'll find a way. A woman can't do that. There'll be other creeps who want to take advantage of her to do that. So she can't be outside. Women will always have somebody to help them out. A woman can go 20 years without a job. <laughs> There's That's always cute. somebody who's going yeah. to help her out. Yeah. You understand? You as a guy, you do not have that luxury. And no, when we say we created a platform for men, you know what niggas thought? Mm. Oh, they've created a, a, a platform where men can also go cry about their problems nah. and seek sympathy from their fellow men. Nah, 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 Look, nah, nah, nigga, I am not is. going to sit here and listen to you cry about your problems. I'll be like, okay, shish. Bro, you are going through stuff. What what's the next again? move? What's the next move? Oh, wait. You thought it was very much fun. We create a circle like girls do. Then we also we all start crying together. <laughs> Life is so sad. I am not going to do that, bruh. There are niggas in our inbox crying about how life has been unfair. It's unfair to everybody. But do something about it. Simple as pie. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> he said five minutes for the sim. Five Sorry. minutes for the sim. Our sims. producer is very oh wild. My God. So anyway, uh, uh, it's crazy, we are, we are about to close, mm. I guess. That's what you're saying. Uh, so yeah. I've got a message. Yeah, yeah. It says I hide my ID. I've been in a serious relationship with this woman for three years. I love the woman so much. She has most of the qualities that I would want in a wife. Mm -hmm. The only issue I have with her are, number one, she's overprotective in a sense that I can't have female workmates uh, numbers in my phone. Number two, if my phone rings, she wants to be the first person to know who has called. She would even get the numbers in my phone and call the numbers on her phone just to know who they are. Number three, Facebook has also become a problem with her. She wants to access... She wants access to my Facebook account, but I refuse, and she's saying I have girlfriends whom I'm hiding. Number four, she wants, she wants me to be posting her on Facebook and TikTok. If I refuse, it's a problem. Number five, she made sure that she sent a request to my ex on Facebook, became friends, asked for her WhatsApp <laughs> line. She just so that she will be seeing what she posts and if I like any of her posts. Number six, she doesn't like me going out with friends. No, like most of my friends. Number seven, we can't have a normal conversation because she talks a lot. Number eight, <laughs> if I decide... <laughs> Guys, <laughs> no, please continue. <laughs> Number eight, if I decide to leave her, she says I will kill myself. She tried that once, but thank God the doctors were able to neutralize what she took. <laughs> yeah, you heard, That's you heard. Good. Number nine, she makes a... She, she makes a mistake, nag, then apologize at the end, saying she will change, but doesn't, uh, does the same all over again. What should I do? I'm afraid for the worst. Once we get married, I've been waiting for her to change, but nah, fam, some old, same old shit. Nothing, no improvement, no change, just getting worse. 
what should I do? Okay. All right. Here's the thing. <laughs> wait, Before wait, we wait, start, wait, wait, wait. wait. Before, I'd like you to. Be, I would like to no, hear no, Laz. Laz, I, I, Laz. I'll, I'll, Laz, I'll give you this one. I just want to say. Yeah. Before we even start putting out, I'm still looking for the good quality she has to be a wife, like he said. Yeah. Like she's yeah. just been giving out red flags the whole yeah. time. But anyway, continue, my guy. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, um, I want to know if he's able to. Is he is he establishing boundaries first? Because what I'm hearing, it's too late is, to establish boundaries. No, no. But uh, what I'm hearing is that he's listing down certain issues he has with her. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, has he addressed those issues? Has he sat her down? Has he created boundaries? Because when you're in a relationship with a girl. You can't just let her behave in a certain way and just mm. complain about it. Mm. And yeah, probably addressed it here and there, but did you make your point? Did you, did you try hard to make your point in front of her to, for her to understand and say, okay, listen, if I'm not careful, this guy might end up leaving me. Mm-hmm. But, if she, if, but if he's already tried that mm-hmm. and she's not listening, then yeah, like he said, should bounce, bounce, mm-hmm. nigga, bounce. Yo, bro, listen, mm. at this point, I'm sorry, this chick is a schizophrenia. Mm. I'm just going to put it out there. Mm. First of all, my guy, she goes and befriends your ex, which is, that's crazy. You understand? What is she trying to do here? Create the ultimate Avengers against you mm. for some reason, okay? Why is she now trying to be friends with your ops? You know what I mean? That's crazy. Secondly, fam, if your chick is even at the level where she now wants to know each and every person that called you. That's wild, fam. Mm. That's wild. S- establishing boundaries is a very important thing. Mm. We've always traced this out. Mm. But he said he's been dating a follow now? I think three years. Three years. Yeah, that three is, years. look, I-, I feel like he's beyond establishing boundaries. Yeah, boundaries are things that you establish at the beginning. Yeah. You say, look, you can't go this way. You can't go this way. I like it like this and I like it like that. Three years is too far. You understand? You guys, I'm sorry. This relationship, I don't see it going very well. It's not going to end well. And then on top of that, look, she's holding you at ransom. Mm -hmm. That if you leave me, I will do chakuti. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. She wants to guilt trip you. Mm -hmm. She wants that the day she goes, she analyzes herself because of you. Uh, No, no. She wants to put it like the day you leave her... she unalived herself because of you. She wants to leave that guilt on your head so that forever, for the rest of your life, you should always think that she did this because of me. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, my guy, mm-hmm. you are dating a schizophrenic here. Mm-hmm. This chick needs help. Mm-hmm. She needs to see therapy. Mm-hmm. She needs serious help. There is nothing, in my own opinion, there is nothing you're going to tell this chick that's going to make her change because this is who she is. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, my guy, brace for impact because yeah. it's not going to be good. So That's anyway, what I'll say. Uh, what I would say is that, my guy, you should have noticed the red flags even, even in a couple of months of dating this girl because yeah. most, women actually real, most women actually reveal the, the, true the, selves. the true selves, the characteristics, and that is something that you shouldn't, shouldn't have ignored. And because the fact is that she's bringing up, she, she tried to kill herself once, what you should have done is that you should have just ended it right there. Yeah. If a person, a lady or a guy, more especially a lady, tries to kill, us, kill herself all because you're, about, you're, you're, you're going to leave her, that is not on you, my guy. Mm-mm. That is her fault. That yeah. is her decision. She's a grown woman. Mm-hmm. She knows exactly what she's doing. You know, Not saying that it's good what she's doing, but the fact is that she cannot hold, hold you at ransom all mm-hmm. because you're about to leave her because of the certain characteristics that you do not like because think about this let's say you marry her how worse is she going to become in that marriage i've seen guys that cry go to the office and cry their eyes out all because they married the wrong person Mm. and think about that future sit down and sit in your bedroom and think is this woman good for for my future is she good for my kids if she's behaving like this in a relationship what more in a marriage. So my guy, you need to figure out what your next step is. Is either you establish hardcore boundaries to the point she will not like it at all, or you need to be strong enough. You need to put your foot down and say, look, I do not like what you're doing. I do not like this nonsense. You say she's wife material, but you need to establish hardcore. That is the point where you're not a nice guy. You just need to establish. But if if you're afraid to confront her, my guy, then it's better you just leave. And that's where the problem you know? is. Exactly. He's been afraid to confront her. You're afraid to confront her. 
Not once did I see that, oh, I did all these things, mm -hmm. no. I went to the family, never we spoke it. about that, but you just said, we just had a conversation. Mm. A conversation is not enough to put boundaries, my guy. So what you have to do is put hardcore boundaries. Mm. If she says she wants, to see, she wants to see your phone, refuse. You shouldn't even mind what her th where her thoughts are going. No. If she says, who are your friends, who are your what, you shouldn't be hanging out with her. Don't give a damn. That's you. If she wants to go ahead and misbehave, that's her own problem. At least you've gotten rid of that toxic behavior. But my friend, you need to either end it or you need to either set hardcore boundaries. You shouldn't be Mr. Nice Guy. And when I mean that, I don't mean you start going, going around and hitting her. No. Yeah, that's the problem. You need Make to be misconstrued. You, you that need term. to sit down and set boundaries. Have a, have a discussion with her. Whether it's involving the family or if the, if, if the family actually knows you too. Whether it's involving the family, that's what you should do. So that is one thing that I will say. Otherwise, my G, one, uh, one last thing. I know we are running out of time. One thing I'll tell you for sure is this, fam. Look, if she's she, the time she tried to unalive herself, you should have been told her that I am going to leave you for trying to unalive yourself. Mm -hmm. It simply means you are very selfish. You are very self-centered. Meaning, the time we'll get married and we'll have kids, you won't have a problem leaving the kids simply because you were upset about something. And what she just did is that she manipulated she, him. Exactly. She's, she, mm. she's holding him. Yeah. You know, she's holding him hostage. Mm. That's not even going to be a... That's not even a relationship. Mm. How is it going to be a marriage? When one person who's not, who doesn't want to be here... Marriage is, we both want to be here. We, we are both happy being in this place. Mm -hmm. Not that I want to be here. I'm happy being here. But this one is only here because I'm holding them ransom. Mm -hmm. I'm holding them hostage. Mm -hmm. That is not a relationship. It's not. Otherwise, my guy, sorry to say this, you have failed at being a masculine man with your woman. This is why she's playing with you. She's toying with you right now. You are literally a toy. She screams, you act. The reason why she's, been che she's checked your phone, because you allowed her. Ah, wait, who are you talking to? On a tenga phone. You think giving her all that proof that you're not cheating on her is you being masculine. It's not. You are just feeding on to her desires. How she feels, you give her. It's like a kid trying to control you. No, me, I want sweets for, for dinner and you gave her sweets. Otherwise, my guy, I'm sorry. This is going to be a very difficult thing to do. In there, I will just tell you, walk away. Walk yeah. away. Just do that. Simple as pie. So anyway, we're about to end the show. Any last words? Quick words, quick words, quick 30 seconds, guys. Yeah, I'll keep it uh, brief. Uh, uh, guys, listen. This is 2024. You cannot be the way you were in 2022. You need to improve on yourself. You need to be better. You need to understand that life is movement. And stagnation leads no man anywhere. That's all I'm going to say. And thou shalt not be a simp as it is a sin in the eyes of the men's conference and that ranting guy. <laughs> Simping, you need stitches. If you simp, do not even come in my vicinity. Simple as pie. That's all I'm going to say. Lars? Um, as a man, always put yourself and your goals first before anything else. Because if there's one thing women want, it's an intelligent and competent man. They don't want a useless man and all he brings is love to the table. Women want a man who's valuable. So the main focus for a man is to create value so that she has a reason to stick by you. Remember, women are not designed to be loyal. They're designed to look for the best. So what I would say is that at the end of the day, guys, make sure to put yourself, put God first, put yourself second, and uh, put your family, your friends, and her last. Know the importance of uh, brotherhood. You know, if you want to achieve things in life, know the importance of brotherhood and also know the importance of a woman by your side. That is one thing that you should also know as well. So you need to sit down, analyze yourself and say, what is it that I want to do in life? So those are the things that I would definitely say. So it's been great. It's been amazing. It's been fun. It's been awesome. Um, your host, DC, the legend of awesomeness. And I had my two musketeers in the building. That is that ranting guy and Lars. And as usual, this episode is actually brought to you by Bongo Bongo Zambia. Make sure to visit the page. That is Bongo Bongo Zambia. And like I said earlier on, Bongo Bongo Zambia is actually giving away an iPhone 15 Pro Max. So if you don't want to spend that 40,000 kwacha, 31,000 kwacha, Simply just click the link in our description below on the YouTube uh, page and definitely click register and stand a higher chance of winning that iPhone 15, 15 Pro, Pro Max. Max. Not that the iPhone 15, Che. 
the iPhone biggest 15, of the, big, the biggest. It's, it's the one so, with the one terabyte. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One it's, terabyte. It's, it's hardware. big, guys. Picture quality. No. You can mm. even boast to your, your girlfriends. You know, it's as easy <laughs> as that. So that's what Bongo Bongo is actually doing out there. So if you want us to actually continue uh, doing the men's conference for you guys, releasing episodes, click the link as well in mm -hmm. our description. That is uh, the men's conference Bongo Bongo link right there. So, yeah, it's as easy as that. It's been great. It's been fun. It's been amazing. Guys, I am pressed right now because of this water. I need to go and pee, man. So, <laughs>